How about the left ventricular wall thickness? Left ventricular wall is thin in dilated cardiomyopathy and is normal to increased in restrictive cardiomyopathy but is markedly increased or thick in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Dilated cardiomyopathy is the most common cardiomyopathy. Heart is dilated with flabby walls. So the walls are thin in dilated cardiomyopathy and markedly hypertrophied in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So what's the effect of thinning of the wall? Thinning of the wall decreases the ejection fraction and leads to systolic heart failure. In an enlarged heart, there is increase in systolic and diastolic volumes. How do you differentiate with the other types of myopathy on the basis of function? It is differentiated with the other by measuring the ejection fraction. The ejection fraction is less than 30% in dilated cardiomyopathy and is 30 to 50% in restrictive cardiomyopathy and is normal in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the walls are markedly thick. And what are the clinical features? There are collapse and sudden death at an early age and in youngs and athletes. There is syncope and angina-like chest pain. So how about the ventricular hypertrophy in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? There is asymmetric irregular ventricular hypertrophy. And how about the septum? Irregular hypertrophy of the septum. This hypertrophy is also found in aortic stenosis and hypertension. But in aortic stenosis and hypertension, the hypertrophy is regular. But in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, it's irregular. How much is the thickness of interventricular septum? Interventricular septum is 1.3 times more thicker than posterior left ventricular free wall and there is myocardial fibrosis and thickening of the small intramural coronary arteries. How about the pressure gradient? Pressure gradient is variable. It's so variable that between the examination and even from beat to beat it's variable. How about the EKG in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? There is left ventricular hypertrophy and there are widespread deep Q waves. And why it's due to? Widespread deep Q wave is due to interventricular septal hypertrophy. What is restrictive cardiomyopathy? This is the condition where the walls are rigid and is stiff, but the rhythmicity and contractility of the heart may be not. And how about the atrial size? There is atrial hypertrophy in all the three but it's massively increased in restrictive cardiomyopathy. The ventricular arrhythmias are uncommon in restrictive cardiomyopathy. And that produces the low voltage ECG is the restrictive cardiomyopathy. So what are the most important causes of dilated cardiomyopathy? Most common is myocardial infarction and alcohol. Praxanxi, doxorubicin and mitral regurgitation also cause dilated cardiomyopathy. Other drugs that cause dilated cardiomyopathy are imatinib and trastuzumab. What's the ECG finding in dilated cardiomyopathy is left bundle branch block. And on echocardiography, we see biventricular hypertrophy. What does the regional wall abnormalities indicate on echo? It indicates coronary artery disease. What's the cause of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? It's autosomal dominant in more than 50% of the cases, so family screening is recommended. There is a defect in gene protein mutation in sarcomeric genes. What are the conditions that cause restrictive cardiomyopathy? They are sarcoidosis, which is treated with steroids, amyloid, hemichromatosis, and endocardial fibroelastosis, and Noonan syndrome. What's the treatment of dilated cardiomyopathy? Digitalis, diuretics, and dilators. The other drugs used in dilated cardiomyopathy are beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, hydrolysine, and anticoagulant warfarin. So what's the benefit of ACE inhibitors and hydrolysine? They slow the disease process and increase longevity. And why use warfarin? Warfarin is used because atrial fibrillation occurs in dilated cardiomyopathy. What is the treatment for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? Beta blockers, verapamil, and amiodrone. Drugs contraindicated are digitalis diuretics and dilators. Digitalis diuretics and dilators, they are used in dilated cardiomyopathy.